augmented matrices. Our objective here, we want to first define an augmented matrix, and then we want to write an augmented matrix for a linear system in three unknowns. So what's a matrix? The word matrices is the plural form of the word matrix. A matrix is an array, which is an ordered series or arrangement of numbers made up of rows and columns inside of brackets. So here is a matrix. It's just an ordered arrangement of numbers. And you have rows. In this case, we have three rows and we have columns. In this case, we have three columns and they are enclosed inside of square brackets. Matrices are named by their, well, they're not named. Matrices are uh, uh, not named. Uh, matrices are defined, defined by their size, which is called the order. And it's given by row uh, X column. So this matrix is a three by three matrix. Again, the first number represents the number of rows, and the second number represents the number of columns. So we have a three by three matrix here. Uh, what are they used for? Well, we're gonna use them to solve systems of linear equations, uh, but they're also used to display information, and there are many other things you can do with them. Uh, they, allow, uh, they allow for a lot of manipulation in um, graphics, for example. Okay, so now we know what a matrix is. What is an augmented matrix? And this is where we're going to come into play for what we're interested in. An augmented matrix is a shortened way of writing a system of linear equations. Terrific, that's what we're looking for. How is it put together? Well, it's a matrix, so it's gonna have brackets and rows and columns. We will have a vertical line that separates the columns into two groups. The coefficients, remember we have linear equations, so on the right side are our variables, on the left side are our constants. The coefficients of the variables are placed to the left of the vertical line, and they're in alphabetical order the constants are placed to the right of the vertical line. So that's an augmented matrix. So here are two examples. Say what, I'll put a one here and a two here. Example one, we have a, a, a system of linear equations in three variables. Here are three linear equations. Okay, the augmented matrix, we're gonna use brackets. The coefficients of our variables go to the left of the vertical line. So three positive, remember there's a one here. So three, one, two, three, one, two, X, Y, Z. One, one, two, one, one, two, and one, three, two, one, three, two. And the corresponding constants go to the right of the vertical line. Here's my vertical line. The first equation here has a 31 as its, const, as its constant, so there's your 31, 19, and 25. So you can read this, 3x plus y plus 2z equals 31 as you go across left to right. That's the augmented matrix. Let's take a look at uh, example number two here. Uh, notice the first equation has all three variables. The second equation is missing the x, but we know that that means we could write a zero x in for x, so we have a coefficient. And the third equation is missing both the x and the y term. That's because they're both being multiplied by zero. And so we could fill that in like that. And so we know we have a line through our equal signs on the left, We'll have a one, two, negative five. Here it is in the augmented matrix, one, two, negative five. A zero, one, three, here's my zero, one, three. And a zero, zero, one, here's a zero, zero, one for X, Y, Z. On the right are the constants. So negative 19, nine, four, 
negative 19.94 on the right of the line. So this shows you how you can take a system and rewrite it as an augmented matrix. Not complicated. Let's just do one example because this is pretty straightforward. Okay, example one, write the augmented matrix for this system of linear equations. So I have 2y minus z equals 7, x plus 2y plus z equals 17, 2x minus 3y plus 2z equals negative 1. First things first, for any variable you don't have, we're going to put a zero in for it because we need to fill out the entire augmented matrix. So I'll put a 0x plus 2y here. And I'm on my way. So what does the augmented matrix, augmented matrix look like? Well, I need some brackets. Okay. The coefficients go in order. Uh, so I have my first equation has zero X's, two Y's, and a negative one Z. There's the negative one right there. And then I have one X, two Y's, and one Z in my second row. 1x, 2y's, and 1z, and I have 2x's, negative 3y's, and 2z's in the third equation, 2x's, negative 3y's, and 2z's. And then I draw my, excuse me, my vertical line, and on the right side of the vertical line go the corresponding constant terms. So equation 1 has a constant term of 7, Equation 2 has 17, and equation 3 has negative 1. So there you have it. I have just written this system of linear equations mm -hmm. as an augmented matrix. What's important in an augmented matrix is you don't want to have any spaces that are blank. So you're going to need to create as necessary. You're going to need to add in zeros if you're missing those those variables in the system of linear equations. Otherwise, it's fairly straightforward.